On September 28, 1994, the MS Estonia left from Tallinn on a routine voyage to Stockholm in Sweden. This is one of the most popular routes in the entire Baltic Sea, and everything seemed like it was going just according to plan. It wasn't. It seemed the Estonia's only destination would be the bottom of the Baltic Sea. 852 people reportedly died in the Estonia when it sank. Afterwards, the disaster was ruled as the bow visor had had improper maintenance and had released and broken off during the Estonia's sinking. The disaster was shelved and is now regarded as one of the greatest maritime losses in history. No one seemed to ask any more questions until they did. Recent discoveries, however, may shatter everything we know about the Estonia, like a four meter high gash in the side of the ship that has investigators baffled. First discovered on a dive in 2021, it was later adapted into a documentary on the anniversary that very same year. It resulted in many people once again talking about the possibility of an explosion in the Estonia, or something else that caused the gash. While skeptics argue that it may have been a vehicle, or the ship hitting the bottom, that caused the gash, there is other possibility for something else to happen. Around a year ago, I, I conducted a private investigation into the Estonia's sinking, gathering some other ship enthusiasts I know into a Discord server, where we discussed theories and what could have happened to the Estonia. Of course, this wasn't a professional investigation, no physical evidence was ever gathered, and we never got to see the wreck. Yet. Anyways, the investigation turned out as nothing, as there was just a lack of evidence. We couldn't contact anyone about any sort of professional input, and there was not enough available evidence online to come to a conclusion other than the bow visor breaking off. However, in the only call that we had to discuss, I discussed one of my theories, and that was that a bomb had gone off in the bottom of the ship and exploded. This is theory one as to what happened to the Estonia. I'm not saying for sure this is true, as this does make me sound like a bit of a conspiracy theorist, but it would explain a lot. Firstly, the passengers explained that when they first heard the loud bang, it sounded more like an explosion than steel tearing, which would have sounded like a bow visor coming off. There were large ventilation pipes on the top of the deck that some theorized pipe bombs could have gone through. These vents lead all the way down to the car deck where the explosion was found. Some things that disprove this are that there was obviously security checks before getting on the ship, and it probably would have been noticed by security cams who were pointing at the area. However, those security cams were obviously never recovered, so we don't know what was in them. Usually when ships don't have these ventilation systems, it can often end pretty badly, with exhaust fumes from the cars running below deck. But if you think a bomb causing the Estonia to sink was outlandish, then welcome to Theory 2. This theory suggests that a Russian submarine rammed the Estonia and caused it to sink. There are so so many things that can disprove this theory. One, there were no NATO exercises going on in the area. Two, the hole is not big enough for a submarine to have. And three, if a submarine did ram the Estonia, it would have flooded quickly and sank. It's, there's no Kursk situation that happened. Some argue that this is because a Russian submarine appeared at a port later after the, after the Estonia disaster with a broken up bow seen in this photo. However, what is also not mentioned is the same thing happened to a French submarine. Apparently what ended up happening was that the two submarines had collided underwater, one carrying nuclear weapons, and they had both head back to port without detecting each other. That is how stealthy submarines are. Some may also point to this indentation on the front of the ship, which looks oddly like the front of one of the submarines. However, not only is this so narrow it could only be a U-boat, but also, why would there be a gash in the side of the ship if the submarine went up and hit the visor? 
Also, Russian submariners aren't idiots. They would not have just randomly rammed the Estonia. However, the reasons that people theorized the Estonia was even around a Russian submarine was actually because of a bit of truth. Now, stay with me here. After the fall of the USSR, many military equipment from the Soviet Union remained in Estonia, which was now an independent country. However, they, they at the time didn't really see much need to defend themselves. Russia was a really weak nation after the fall of the USSR. So, they gave a lot of military equipment to Sweden, who was building up their military in an effort to be neutral. So, Estonia made a deal to ship a ton of military equipment to Sweden via the Estonia. The Russians repeatedly told them not to do this, but the practice still continued. So, some theorize that the Russians would have been spying on the Estonia and accidentally rammed her. Not only is it dumb for the reasons I mentioned before, Russian submariners would not have to get that close to a submarine that they would have literally needed to ram up against the submarine and say, Oh, I guess we need to get closer. But yeah, basically, this theory is completely false. There's no evidence to support it. And it's complete conspiracy theory stuff. I, I'm pretty sure even people here can agree this is way less likely than a bomb. There's no submarine that rammed the Estonia, it's not possible, and it never happened. Alright, now that I am done ranting about that, let's get into the third and final theory as to why there is a giant hole in the side of the Estonia. This theory is simply that it was damage from a car or a damage from a rock when it hit the bottom. Now the rock theory can kind of be disproven by the fact that one, the gash is on the other side of where the ship is lying on, and also there are barely any rocks on the bottom of the ocean there and it is mostly just silt and mud. The car theory is quite likely, and I actually do think that this theory has the most ground and is probably the most realistic. If there is any theory to believe on why there is a giant hole in the side of the ship, I'd say it's a car smashing it open, or maybe corrosion from the wreck. With the Estonia at the bottom of the Baltic Sea and being laid to rest, it's likely we'll never know what happened. The ship is now protected by the Estonian and Swedish governments, and is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, meaning it is protected. So we may never know what truly happened to the Estonia, and why the gash in the hull exists. With the dives to the wreck having been ceased, no survivors wanting to talk about the incident anymore, and seemingly no one wanting to bring forward anything, the mystery of what happened to the Estonia will remain unsolved. Estonia, silly Europa. Are you uh, flying, uh, calling Mayday? Estonia, what's going on? Can you reply? Speak to God for they were dumped to their position. They don't seem to have to go for the most. Vi måste nog bara här i närheten, de har 20-30 graders styrbord slagsida och blackout. Det är precis fullt med folk i havet här runt oss, det här runt. Ja, nu. 